Uh, hello everyone, and here I am with a, another LEGO Star Wars review, and my first for 2019. And this one is on the Elite Praetorian Guard Battle Pack. So here's the front of the box with the logos and that new border like we've seen on the uh, Darth Vader's castle set, and where it's all made of bricks, and the minifig version of Vader, here, which is kind of interesting, but at least they'll change it up with the 20th anniversary sets and episode 9 sets later this year. But you see a picture of the, like, all the guards in action. And age recommendation 6 and up. And set number 75225 and has 109 pieces. The actual size on the top. Keeping up that thing where it's in nice artwork on the side. And yeah. here's the back or how the feature works and everything. And now to the booklet. And you can see it's a good bit smaller than most battle pack instructions, probably to save space on folding and also don't have to worry about the folding and everything, and, which I think is good. And it's the same pictures on the front and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. List of the pieces that come with the set. Uh, list of the mini fix that come in this January wave, and then all the January 2019 sets after Lego Life, and the last building steps. So, first of all, for the mini figs, is of who you get two of in this set is the newer Elite Praetorian Guard. And, and this is which a mini fig that people have waited around a couple years for. Because, like, since 2017, the only ever way to get this was as a buildable figure set. Which is kind of intriguing, but at least finally here. But the molded headpiece of which, or the mask piece, I, I mean, of which molded to pretty much perfection. And acts just like the buildable figure version does. But although it doesn't have the, like, uh, cloak part, Manskirt thing, like the build a figure set did, but it's all right. But kind of printed on and all. But and also got these couple long spears, and also the new shoulder blade piece. All the rest similar to the ones from the Snoke's throne room set. As for the little spears, which same sword pieces from the Ninjago and everything sets. Wish they could do a little similar blade, or something a little similar to the little figure version did, but whatever. I can take it. And there is from the back some good printing there as well. And without that, plain red head. And the other one, which is just the same, but, or a similar spear, but with the sword piece used from the Nexo Knights line. And that is it. And then next up is another Praetorian Guard, but who of which has the same headpiece and everything from the Snoke's throne room set, but, with, but also with an odd looking weapon where it's just double dagger or something. But whatever. Billy's good to add in to that set. And lastly, he is another First Order Stormtrooper. See, with the little stud shooter there and everything. But besides that, everything else of this one, just the same as it's been since 2015. Same hit mask piece, and same exact annoying angry clone face. Yeah, annoying angry clone face. And same back printing, same everything. But, you know, but on the bright side, good to get multiples up for army building and everything. And now on to the main build of it, which is this little stamp pack thing here. So on this one side of which is, well, there's a bit of modular ability work. It has a clear stand holding this little hover droid of which holding a lightsaber, red lightsaber with a gunmetal gray hilt. 
although this isn't really seen in The Last Jedi, but, or maybe I missed out on it, uh, I don't know. Probably isn't. Like, I see here. There's what's some couple jumpers there. To, like, add that, and also this little weapon rack here to hold this other weapon, where it's just a harpoon spear thing on with a, you know, flail fashion. And also to hold all their weapons on to it, which is kind of nice. You see the shaping of this little build done pretty well. So where it's just plates and all. But and what those two things are for is where you can like place your two Praetorian Guard mini figs onto it. And that's the fight. Almost just about like on the one SpongeBob episode when he and Sandy are on top of the sea needle, but except it's done with giant ear clip. On your bar, it's a. Uh, should we be standing up here? Go! <laughs> yeah, whatever. But that's kind of cool. Almost a bit like uh, some old games where it's like that. But, yeah. Oh, what you can kind of somewhat do with these little things is you can like easily attach them onto the sides or something onto the actual Snoke's throne room set and really extend it a bit. Well, like in a mock or something. And, yeah. and let's see. what else is there to say? Not much, but. to the final verdict. Overall, this is a pretty good battle pack, but kind of not much one for army building and whatnot, but at least you get two of the main kind of Praetorian guards that aren't the buildable figure version of it, and also get an alright amount of good parts to add to your mocking now. And if you're looking like it's the of a Praetorian Guards and add them to Snoke's throne room set, then go ahead and pick this up. And, and that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.